Good morning. The two things I want to teach everybody today is about self-awareness. What is that? How do you know if you have it? And the second thing is about growth mindsets and the victim mindsets that many of us fall into but don't know we're in. First one is self-awareness. Are you aware of how your behaviours, actions and thoughts are impacting those around you? That's the first question. Most people say, yeah, yeah, I'm self-aware. 90% of people think they're self-aware, but the studies show only 10 to 15% actually understand this stuff. So that's step one. If you don't understand how your behaviours and actions are impacting others around you, then you're not self-aware and therefore you can't improve them, right? Which then leads us into the next bit, which is those closed mindsets. Because if we are not self-aware and we cannot see where our behaviours and actions are having impact in the world, then how are we going to know how to change them or take responsibility for them? We won't, which is what happens a lot. Then what happens is we get these victim mindsets. And I want you to remember the words, the poor me syndrome. I see it a lot. It's a disease that I can see rampant in us humans. We start to feel sorry for ourselves. Now, I'm not saying life is not hard. Life is hard. And sometimes you can see why people fall into the victim feeling and that the world is against them. However, if you want to be a human who heals and serves the world and actually improves themselves, then that won't work for you. So you cannot allow the poor me syndrome. And that's why I'm trying to make people aware of it. When you start feeling sorry for yourself in any way, you need to be able to spot that and stop that, right? You cannot allow that to happen. Your mind will start to wallow you will start to catastrophize. You will think the world is against you and then you will cause problems for yourself. So try and figure those two out today. Have you got either of those nailed? Can you tell me off the top of your head whether you are self-aware? Do you understand what I said earlier? If not, start to research that and start to watch yourself thinking. Start to practice this stuff. It's not mainstream education, but it's so important, right? So we want to have good lives here. We're only here once. I want everybody living to their fullest potential. And to do that, you need to understand yourself. It's introspection. So self-awareness, how self-aware are you really? And then start to research that. Read topics on it. Learn. Practice it in yourself every day. And the second one is that victim mindset. Poor me. I can't believe this has happened to me. Right? And things do happen like that to us in the world. But you've got to learn that that will not serve your mindset. That will keep you stuck because you will catastrophize then and you will start to think that the one bad thing that happened is a symbol of how the world is for you and you'll start to feel the world is against you. Then you start to get into a paranoid place. That's not a place you're going to grow. And that is the problem. So whether you like it or not, when you start to see yourself feeling sorry for yourself, you need to stop it. You need to realize that is not going to get me anywhere. It's going to cause me problems and I'm going to cause more problems. So I need to stop that. That's not allowed. I do not allow myself to wallow or feel victim. What can I do instead of what I can't do? What can I control instead of what I can't control? Let's start feeling empowered in ourselves. Let's start bringing that control and ability and capability and belief back into ourselves. Right? That's a growth mindset. No matter what the world throws at me, I will find a way. No matter what the world does to me, I will repair. I will heal. I will learn. I will get there. That's the way we have growth mindsets going. This doesn't happen by itself. It takes practice. People think that mindsets, some people are just more positive. They are, but they are also working on this stuff because all of us have a negativity bias. So we're all starting from the same place but one will do more work on themselves than the other. Because sometimes if we feel victim, we don't feel like we can work on ourselves. We don't even feel like there's any point. We think the world is against us anyway. So there's someone that's not going to be able to get the best out of their life. They're not going to be able to make a difference in the world. And yet that's what you were put here to do. Right? It takes work. It takes research. It takes study. It takes you practicing and being aware of your thoughts. But it is so worth it. It is so worth it. I don't want anybody on this planet to have to end their life at some point with regrets. Let's see what we can do while we're here. What can we learn? What can we practice? What can we start to do? There's loads of information online. Why are you not engaging with it? 
right? You deserve the best. You are lovable and you are enough. Now, I want you to start thinking like that and I want you to work on that, to just perfect, perfect, work, improve, develop, grow. You will thank me. You will thank yourself. You will be proud of yourself for doing that kind of work. Just get it started. Two things start today, baby steps. Look up self-awareness. Read an article on it today and start to think about it. Or listen to an article today and start to think about it. Then have a look at victim mindsets. Have a look at growth mindsets. This is how we're going to do this. Educate ourselves. And we're going to start to be able to figure these things out for ourselves. There is loads of material online. It just takes time and it takes work. And it takes you wanting to be the best version of you. And it takes you not accepting the fate that you think life has for you, but instead starting to learn that you are actually very worth it. You are always enough. You are lovable and you deserve the best. So you go get it. Go get it. Today. <laughs> Bye for now.